Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a little fun. Today's a song, it's really not a great acoustic song to play. It's a great fun song. We enjoy sitting around playing it on acoustic. I'm going to show you how to play it. There's really about three parts to the song, and other than that, it's pretty much simple. The song has a capo on the first fret, so I'm going to call off all the chords as if the capo was in here. Song starts with an E minor to an E minor 7. We're going to go... again and then you're really never going to go back to that E minor again it's going to be a G from this point on and we're going to play Take it away. Two, three, and... Okay, now we're going to jump right into the verse. The verse to the song is a B minor 7. to an E, to a G, to an A11. Let's try that. We'll do a couple of verses, choruses, and uh, call it a day. Two, three, and... There's a solo there. But anyways, that's all there is to the song. It's really a lot of fun. If you're playing it electric, like in a band, you would play the G6 over here, like. But here, when you're playing it on acoustic, you're having fun, you're sitting around with friends. I just play the G like this. And then come down with the D, blocking the high E string. And it's a lot of fun to play. You'll have a blast with it. George McRae, he's great. It's a great song. Again, another classic one that brings me back to my childhood. I don't know. I've always dug the song. Emily? I totally dig it. Can you dig it? <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Oh, that girl. <laughs> I want to make a mind. Gene Chandler. Remember that tune? <laughs> it's a groovy situation everyone study groovy situation i will be doing a lesson on it eventually it's a fantastic song anyways i hope you love it very good